And welcome to 2K Sports for another edition. Everyone's still finding their footing in this early part of the season, go. Grant. How important is it to get off to a really hot start? Oh, it's so important to get off early to a good start, B.A. You really want to build some momentum early. In some ways, it can really set the tone for the rest of the season. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. And it's Levert in at the small forward position. Yeah, that's inexcusable. I mean, the defense must push Levert farther away from the basket than that. George outside. Here's Morris. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Mobley. Pass to Levert. Now here's Mitchell. Three-pointer, no good. Here's Mann. He's checked by Levert. Garland against Jackson. And George launches it from deep. Levert with a rebound. The Cavaliers have gone one for three so far. Garland with the ball. His last outing, he had 24 points. Allen finds the bird. Six to shoot. Out to Garland. The three. They get it back. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. And the coaching staff and this team make count on Allen for those second chance opportunities. So he collects two more. When you look at the age of Jared Allen, the way he's developed, he could be a top five center in the league very soon. Fantastic impact on the court he has. Jackson can't get it to go. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside. And here's Garland. A threat for them offensively. He's recorded around 19 a game. The shot by Levert, no good. And Allen has the defense and finishing that you want from the center spot, Greg. Yeah, B.A., Allen can switch on the guards with ease. Great lateral movement and contest very well. Having a center that can do that is huge for a team. Morris can't hit. No, it's early, but going 0 for 4 to start a game can make a team get a little bit tight. Garland for three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor or you're going to struggle big time. Yeah, the best way to make it hard on teams is continue your motion. And their motion on the perimeter just wasn't good enough. That ended up costing them. <laughs> That's great court awareness. Mitchell's just reliable at noticing when his guys are uncovered. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Coming on to the court. see the stat sheet here for Paul George and over the last five games his field goal percentage has increased and you can make a case his confidence as well because of this the Clippers have gone 0 for 5 to begin this game pass to Zubats George against Mitchell. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. For Cleveland, they've gone three of eight so far. And you know, guys, I don't think too many people expected the resurgence we saw from the Cavs last season. It started with their defense. You don't want to let them get into a rhythm from out there. Now here's George. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Well, that three-pointer's got to fire up George and the entire team. Well, in terms of their D, the Cavs have gone from one of the softer teams in the league to one of the toughest. Well, think about this. I mean, they're a young team. They play with tremendous energy, and we see that in the way they get after it on defense. 
They're going into overdrive, doing everything they can to extend this run. Pass to George. Let's go with a three. That doesn't go either for George. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Garland finds Allen. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Oh, it's stolen by LeVert. To the inside, Mitchell. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Mitchell's got five. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, staying with it and looking to expand this margin. Hard nose takes like that will certainly help. Morris, a screen on Garland. There's Jackson with the three. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Pass to Garland. Levert outside. Back to Allen. Shoots over Zubats. Allen can't get it to go. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Morris outside. Pass to Jackson. Here's Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. There's playmaking ability, and there's a willingness to attack the basket, and Jackson good at orchestrating that pick and roll. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. At the line for the Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell. At the line for two. That free throw is good for Mitchell. Both free throws good for Mitchell. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Powell for three. No good. Misses at the buzzer. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. The Cavaliers on top. They lead by 12. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Cavaliers pretty much in control here. Yeah, showing grit on the glass is a good way to gain an advantage. They controlled the boards in the first. Well, if you get physical out there, you can control the glass, and that helps you to control the pace of the game. On the court right now for Cleveland. Osman at small forward with Love at the four. Raul Neto out there with Okoro. And it's Lopez in at the center position. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Here's Neto. Down low. Here's Osman. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. And you can't leave the basket unprotected. Bad things will happen to you. Yeah, that was just way too easy. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Here's Neto. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. Love a screen on wall. Pass to Osman. Off target from three point range. The Clippers have gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Wall with it, and that's Love picking him up defensively. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Here's Okoro. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Osman with the bucket. Okoro showing his ability to find an open teammate. 
the last couple of seasons, the Clippers have shot the lights out from deep breath. Oh, man, they've been unbelievable. Over 41% back in that 21 season. That led the NBA. So they got a nice collection of shooters on this Clippers team, and it helps that you have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard play to create great shooting opportunities. So lots of guys that can hurt you from deep. Here's Osman following the score by the Clippers. Down to five on the shot clock. Kept alive. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. And the Cavaliers lead by 17. Right wing. Right side wall. Love grabs the miss. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Back to Neto. Pass to Lopez. The baseline J is on the way. Can't hit that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. Last season, they just couldn't find a winning strategy against this squad. You know, one expression you hear from a lot of coaches nowadays, threatening drives. What's the value of breaking the paint? B.A., dribble penetration is so important, particularly in today's game. With the spacing and the great shooting on the perimeter, if you can get to the paint, one, you may score at the rim, but if the defense collapse, now you have an opportunity to find an open shooter from three. Yeah, can't sleep on Powell defensively. He will step up and start to pour it in. And the Cavaliers going with a whole new group out there. Both shots good from the strike. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Now Levert. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Garland, no good. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Jackson. And here's Zubats. Morris sets a screen. Here's Powell. Tries again. And Morris with the lay-in. Morris has got his first two points of the night. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Mobley, a screen on Jackson. Garland for three. Powell pulls it in. Garland's gone just one of five from the floor. Jackson on the wing. We've got a minute 48 left to play in the second quarter. And he converts the layup. Good work down low from the 6-2 Reggie Jackson. Not bashful. Here's Wade. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Man, that one's good. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Now here's Jackson. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Well, still a few years out, but the Clippers have to be excited about moving into their own arena in 2024. So much innovation has gone into the design of the building. And it just looks incredible. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Amen. And the Clippers felt they needed to build their own arena to establish some identity. Yeah, no doubt about it, that they could be their own franchise away from the shared building with the Lakers. And for so long in L.A., they've been treated as sort of the second-rate team. And that just shouldn't happen. So having their own arena, that's moving them well into the right direction. Garland finds Allen. Now here's Mitchell. No good on the triple. man. He's checked by Levert. Gets it down to single digits. And good recognition from Reggie. Open teammate. 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Levert outside. It's rebounded by Morris. Morris has got four rebounds now. On the wing man. He's checked by Levert. George outside. 
Over Mitchell. Mobley grabs the board. Outside Mitchell. Launches a three. Doesn't go for him. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Great team defense on Paul George. They're limiting what PG is doing out there. Back after this. Hey folks, welcome to the... I love what they're doing in the paint, being aggressive, being physical. That netted them a big portion of their points tonight. And continuing with those high percentage looks is key to them keeping this lead. And let's get back to our featured game. A fantastic battle between these two guys. They've each been fantastic tonight, playing with fire, doing just about everything. Lots of pressure on these two in the second half. I remember being the guy on the given night. Well, for me, it was all nights. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. <laughs> There's virtually nothing you can do to stop him. I mean, you can't even contain him. He's been that great. Yeah, I don't know if you have enough game plans to slow him down. How do you guard a guy that good? And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Jackson and George, they're manning the backcourt. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court, And it's man in at the three. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Pass to Morris. Here's Zubats. Zubats, screen. George passes to Zubats. To the inside, Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Over his career, Mitchell has developed his playmaking for others. A great skill to have. Zubats with a screen on Garland. Here's George. Banked it in off the glass. George has got five now. And one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now, you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their core up. Could be a game changer, though, with this roster, even with all they gave up to get him. Now here's George. He's got five. Jackson outside. Pass to George. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists in the game. Think about the rookie year that PG had where he shot under 30% from the three-point line, but all that tireless work in the offseason and now such a vital part of his game. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Now here's Allen. Six points for him. And it's Mitchell, the miss. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Here's Levert. And there's the drive. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. And Levert is a tremendous athlete. Once he gets into the lane, he's terrific at finding ways to finish. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over.
And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Batum is checked in for Zubats. Covington comes in for Morris. Norman Powell, he's checked in for Mann. And it's John Wall in for Jackson. Kevin Love's checked in for the Cavs. Okoro comes in for Levert. Now here's Wall. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Powell against Mitchell. Batum with a screen on Mitchell. And they pick up two. I like that hoop for Norman Powell. Shoot it close to the hoop. Forget the long range stuff. Make it easy on yourself. Mitchell, the pass to Love. Now Garland. And finished off by Garland. Oh, excellent way to pad the lead. Yeah, especially when it's your one throwing it down like that. Oh, yeah, his teammates love that one. I'm sure he's going to hear about it when he gets to the huddle. Wall, no good. The Cavaliers have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. On the wing, Mitchell. Over Powell. And there's Mitchell on the assist by Garland. Garland's got his third assist of the night. A viable threat from the mid-range. Mitchell is excellent at recognizing when to take these shots. Now here's George. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mobley's got a rebound number five here tonight. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Here's Love. He's averaging more than 12 a game. Consistent threat on offense. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is where you have to stay calm and execute. Fires it. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Well, he's using the force, but in the worst way possible right now. He just needs to dial it back and look to work the ball around the floor to his teammates. Now here's Mitchell. Nine points in the game. Back to Love. Pass to Okoro. Off target from outside. Los Angeles has gone one of four here in the third from range. Wall, the pass to Batum. Powell for three. Drops in the three. Powell's got five points now in the quarter. Great job by Norman Powell off the catch. Outside Mitchell. One ten left in the third. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Mitchell's got 11. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. They're taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. For three, George. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Can't connect from 14. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Powell against Mitchell. Picked by Covington. Let's it go from 11. Powell's shot is off. Outside Mitchell. Back to Garland. He got it up. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Cleveland. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. The hustle they've shown on. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. Sometimes it happens when the offense is struggling, but every now and then this helps with the offensive uptick right there. Great job of setting his teammate up. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. So for Cleveland right now, we've got Howell Neto, also Karis LeVert out there, Jared Allen out there with Jetty Osman, and it's Wade in at the four. Kennard against LeVert. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got six rebounds now in the game. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Back to Kennard. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Jackson for three. Ooh, Lavert with some nice D. 
Here's Osman. Levert outside. They set the pick. From deep. Buries it from three. And the Cavaliers lead by 12. That's a big make for Levert. Should help his confidence. Pass to Zubats. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Now I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting only 42%. Here's Neto, defended by Jackson. Neto's shot is off. Yeah, that shot's not going to make his teammates or coaches happy. Yeah, the only thing that kind of shot helps with is your opponent's chance of winning. Jackson outside. Got a hand on it. Morris outside. Takes the three. And again, no good by the Clippers. For Cleveland, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Osman. Using his post moves to get the two points. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Mann. Jackson outside. Shot clock at 6. From outside the arc, sinks the tray. Kennard's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And as long as Kennard keeps knocking down those threes, he's going to get more opportunity. The shot by Levert, no good. Los Angeles has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Now here's Kennard. Jackson, the screen. Back to Kennard. And it's all from three-point range. The Cavs have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Here's Osman. Rebound by the Clippers. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Here's Zubats. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist with that last one. You know, Reggie Jackson has had a few years in the NBA where he's had six or more assists, so he can't make plays. Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. for the Clippers and keeping us updated from the sideline Ali LaForce hey team I was able to catch the message that JB Bickerstaff was giving to his team and he implored them to be patient at the offensive end he wants to use every second of the shot clock he said quote if we take care of the ball and take our time and play D this game is ours as always Ali we thank you Mitchell with the ball Shoots over George. They get it back. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, finishing up that play with some authority. Allen gets inside to convert on the putback. 
George against Mitchell. Looking to end this cold spell. The kick out to Morris. Mitchell against George. The Clippers rebound. And the shot goes in. Zubats has got four points this quarter. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards. Generate second chance opportunities. And hopefully convert. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Shoots over George. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to George. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up and a strong showing for the Cavaliers. They were the more accurate club. And in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. And they earn win number nine. Each win so important in this league. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And they got a lot of great solo efforts tonight, but probably none bigger than the performance for Donovan Mitchell. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the standout skill of Paul George is the fact that on both ends of the court, he's going to affect the outcome of a game. Pass to Wade. To the middle. Here's Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. And so Cleveland takes this one by a big margin. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Donovan Mitchell.